iOS 9, the new version of Apple's operating system for iPhones and iPads, has rolled out to millions of people around the world. And you may be asking yourself, should I install it? Well, yes, I recommend that you do install it, because it includes a number of important security patches which can help protect your privacy and prevent nastiness from going on. So do go and install it. Probably a good idea. There's another reason, though, why you might want to install it which is that one of the new features included in iOS 9 is a content blocker. Specifically, it's content blocking built into Safari. You can plug in add-ons to Safari on your mobile device, which will now prevent adverts from appearing on websites as you visit them. Now, why do you want to stop adverts? I'll tell you. One reason, of course, is that you want to prevent your data being eaten up by the ads as you're browsing the web, maybe on a 3G connection. Maybe you're being metered. So that's nice to have, isn't it? Furthermore, if you don't have adverts appearing on websites, your browsing experience is going to be much faster as well. But maybe even more important than those, you don't want these websites tracking you and advertisers tracking where you're going across the web. And a lot of adverts are doing precisely that these days. And finally, there's the issue of malvertising, malicious advertising, where the adverts themselves actually might contain something nasty, or maybe if you clicked on them, something unpleasant would happen. Now, there's not many malware attacks on iOS, thank goodness, particularly if you haven't jailbroken the device, but it's very commonly encountered on desktop and laptop computers, and maybe we will see more attacks exploiting those sort of flaws in future. So, how well do these ad blockers work, and how do you set them up? Well, Let's go and have a look. Oakley Doakley, let's put it to the test. Um, here I've got an iPhone, and I'm going to visit the well-known website of Forbes. Um, Forbes, of course, is a famous news outlet, and they're slightly notorious in the computer security industry because they ha got hacked. In fact, it was a page like this, their Thought of the Day page, which got infected by Chinese hackers who were targeting the finance and defence industry and a little bit of advertising we just saw was actually subverted by the hackers to attempt to infect uh, the computers of visiting PCs with an Adobe Flash Zero Day exploit. Anyway, we've got past that interstitial ad and now we are on a page uh, right at the bottom. It says uh, there's a real estate advert and here we've got an advert for some sort of conference in telephone cyborg thing. Um, and we can click around and visit sites. Forbes is you know, far from the worst site when it comes to ads, but they do have some adverts. Um, let's see. Bind wholesale towels in bulk. It's, it's great, isn't it, when adverts uh, really know their audience. Um, so we can go to towelhub.com. Uh, should we want any ads? Okay, right, so imagine I'm not terribly interested in that. Um, hard to believe, I know. So let's turn on an ad blocker in iOS 9. So I go into settings and I scroll along till I find Safari, content blockers, and I've installed one already. This one's called Purify. There are others out there. A lot of people are talking about one called Crystal as well. And then once you've done all of that, let's go back into the browser like so, and go visit the Forbes website. Here we jolly well go. And hopefully, if everything's working to plan, we should find that there are no adverts here. That's all just Forbes content. And if we go to the news story, let's see if they try and flog us some towels or not. Now, like I said, it's quite reasonable for news outlets to try and monetize their content. It obviously costs them a lot of money to write this stuff. But advertising and trackers slow your web access down, and there are privacy issues as well, and security issues, because sometimes malicious adverts may actually get onto these sites capable of infecting your PCs. It's not um, a problem which is particularly pressing in terms of malvertising on iOS, just at the moment, but certainly you can be taken to dodgy websites. So, as you can see, easy to set up thanks to iOS 9. If you haven't already done so, download iOS 9 and uh, consider installing an ad blocker. Now, there's one group of people who'll be telling you 
don't install ad blockers. And those are the people who run websites which are monetized by advertising. Obviously, they don't necessarily think that they're a very good idea. And you can see their point. It's expensive to create content. It's expensive to run maybe a news team or to put together a popular blog. It takes time and effort, and those efforts should be rewarded in some way. But the problem is that adverts have become not just irritating, adverts have also, in some cases, become malicious, or they've become slightly insidious in the ways in which they're tracking people. My advice for websites who rely upon advertising, who will be upset about ad blockers, make your ads better. Stop irritating your users. Stop gobbling up their data. Stop tracking them. And, of course, stop displaying malicious adverts. Wherever you're getting your adverts from, if you can't get a clean stream, then maybe you need to go elsewhere or reconsider how you monetize your website because it's clearly very, very unpopular with the typical web browser. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right? Have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe. <laughs>